So guys, exactly as it was said, Elon made one of the boldest claims saying that drivers could soon be able to text and drive while FSD is active. V14 is handling so well that the path to full control and complete eyes off is literally within realms. And we are now getting our first taste of that with the latest software updates. Earlier last month, during the 2025 shareholders meeting, Elon explained that Tesla's full self-driving suite will soon be capable enough to allow drivers to divert their attention from the road for brief periods of time. Currently, as it stands, FSD remains a supervised driver assistance system that requires the drivers to stay attentive and ready to intervene at all times. Elon hinted that once the data shows consistently strong safety performance, Tesla will open the ability for drivers to text and drive potentially within the next month or two. His direct words were, in the next month or two, we're going to look at the safety statistics and we're going to allow you to text and drive essentially. And as he also explained, people are already reaching for their phones and the change would make the overall experience safer for everyone. People will actually turn off full self-driving to text then turn it back on, which is less safe overall. And now moving forward a month, it seems like Elon has kept his promise. It looks like this week, Tesla has quietly rolled out the anticipated feature with the rollout of full self-driving supervised version 14.2.1. Owners are now reporting that they can stay active on their phone for longer stretches while the car manages all of the driving. The confirmation came following a post on X from a user questioning whether full self-driving version 14.2.1 had already unlocked the feature after being on their phone for an extended period of time and not receiving any prompts to pay attention to the road. Elon's response was short and simple, significantly stating that yes, it is possible depending on context of surrounding traffic. And additionally, he says that version 14.3 could reach to the point where you can pretty much fall asleep and wake up at your destination. While all of this still remains unclear, what specific scenarios allow texting and driving, the strict monitoring has now been confirmed to be reduced in low risk environments. All right, so this is obviously really amazing. And it means that not only can you just text and drive in certain scenarios, but you can practically do anything during that span where the car feels confident enough. You can navigate the UI, you can search for your favorite songs, you can browse the web, you can even talk to the rear passengers, all without the car nagging you and all without staring explicitly at the road in front of you. It just means that you can do practically anything you want when the car feels that it has high confidence and now you're just sitting there for all the regulatory reasons. Now, with all that being said, however, there are disclaimers. Drivers shouldn't just automatically assume that the law allows it just because Elon confirmed that the feature is now available. Text and driving, it remains illegal in virtually every jurisdiction, regardless of where the driver advanced system system is active or not, especially since FSD is still considered level two. And it means that everyone behind the wheel remains fully responsible at all times. But regardless of that little disclaimer, it's still such a cool feature that have just fully arrived and finally activated in our cars. And this is just the first little glimpse into what we're gonna see in the next couple of months with fully unsupervised full self-driving. Now, in related news, for the first time ever in over a decade, Tesla appears ready to remove the beta label from its core autopilot features. Deep analysis from the 2025.38 software update by Green the Only suggests that Tesla is preparing to strip the beta designation from auto steer entirely, signaling that the system is now considered stable enough to be treated as a full-fledged stable feature. While Tesla hasn't officially confirmed a transition to a single unified software stack combining both autopilot and full self-driving, there are early indicators pointing in that direction. Earlier this week, a user on X discovered 2026 Model Ys being sold without the autopilot package. Instead, they all come with only traffic-aware cruise control as standard, plus a one-month free trial of FSD. This seems to reflect Tesla's future plans to phase out the old autopilot-based functionality and push towards a newer FSD light system. This version would resemble the current autopilot system, but without the lane change or parking features, allowing Tesla to offer both FSD packages 
on the same software stack, improving efficiency and simplifying feature updates. In addition to this, Tezza has also made recent updates to the autopilot description in the user manual. The company has long marketed autopilot as safer than the average US driver, claiming the latest version is 10 times more safe. However, interestingly, in the latest 2025.38 update, Tezza quietly removed the word safer in autopilot from the description and replaced it with convenient. The updated description now reads, Autopilot refers to a suite of advanced driver assistant features that are intended to make driving more convenient and less stressful. While the exact reasoning behind this change is still unclear, it suggests Tesla is preparing a significant update to their base autopilot software as the system may no longer meet the previous 10x safer expectations. So there we have it guys, Tesla is really now starting to mesh the lines between supervised and unsupervised with FSD version 14.2.1, you have it running on robo taxis in select cities. And you also have it running in your own cars. With robo taxi, it's an obvious, but now with your own personal vehicles, it can really actually handle driving while you take your eyes off of the roads in certain situations. That means for the first time ever, drivers can text, scroll the UI, and even check with the passengers in the rear seats all without thinking about it. And the car is honestly taking care of every driving situations. It is the closest we come to hands off driving in any personal vehicles before ever. Then at the same time, Tesla is finally preparing to retire the beta label from autopilot and rebranding the entire experience as convenient rather than just safer, all in part of making the system more streamlined and ready for what's next with full self driving light version. All of this, like I said, is really just mind boggling. The fact that the software running in our cars right now allows you to take your eyes off of the road for brief moments, for extended periods actually, to do things that you normally wouldn't be able to do is all possible now thanks to the latest software update which Tesla really just toggled overnight and all of this is possible. There's really only just three weeks left until the end of the year, but at this pace they're moving, I'm sure there's gonna be a ton more update, tons more exciting things before the year ends. I'll continue to keep a close eye on everything that comes out, especially on FSD here, and update you as quickly as possible. So I would love it if you stick around, hit that subscribe button and that bell notification if you haven't already done so, and follow me on X, Twitter, at hey John E over there, you'll definitely see things that you wouldn't see over here. You can chat with me anytime, respond as quickly as possible. Anyways, this should be it for this one. Hope you enjoyed it. This is John once again. Peace out.